Hello, my name is Robert Tags, and I'm a license plate collector. There's really two defining moments in my life that really made me who I am today. Number one is when I got my first license plate. It was a spark that started a flame for me and my whole love for license plates. And then the second one, I went to my first license plate convention. And it just set me in stone for what I do today. One of the main reasons I love license plates is a story. Most of those who buy and sell or trade, you don't get that rich, deep story. My trip to Colombia, massive beard. I barely made it out with this one. I will replace every bone in my body to collect another one of these. The best way for me to find the stories is to go straight to the source. And so that means straight to the car that it came from, usually. This right here, we've hit a gold mine. We'll just say that. Most people say it's stealing, but I really don't think it's stealing. It's a lot like archaeology. When you dig up, let's say, weapons, coins, scrolls, and we stick this into museums for people to observe. I I'm doing the same thing with these license plates. Some people say that this one right here actually came from a UFO. The thing you forgot to take was his license plate. Yeah, I, I don't think it's stealing. I think it's collecting. I actually just went out in the field this morning and uh, I just came out with a real zinger of a plate. You can just see the story that's just woven all throughout here. I mean, just look at that right there. A lot of people love to talk about, you know, snowflakes are all unique and different, and that's true. But I think license plates, you're never going to find two that are the same. In that sense, each person is made differently, uniquely and beautifully. And in that, we can choose to love one another and open up. FBI, open up! I gotta go. It was... so much deeper. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't do that. 